Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings are indeed 8-1, and one, getting it done, tied for the best record in the National Football League, one of the best teams in the National Football League. No big deal. And they're hosting the Dallas Cowboys coming off a 14-point loss in Green Bay, which kind of sucks. I mean, come on, man. But uh, it's in the late window, CBS premium game, and we get the premium announcers. CBS numero uno team, Jim Nance, Tony Romo, uh, and Tracy Wolfson will be calling the game uh, at historic U.S. Bank Stadium. So it feels like a big-time one. I, I mean, Jim Nance, hello, friends. Lo, lo, Jim Nance is one of the all-time great announcers. Absolutely love his flow. Tony Romo, of course, uh, idiosyncrasies aside, oh, he can predict the play. It's almost like he's was an NFL quarterback, but... Anyways, I I do think Romo is good. I think that he brings a, a, a enthusiasm. I think that he is he, he's perfectly okay crapping on the Cowboys. And even though he's generally the AFC announcer, I mean sometimes he gets an opportunity on Thanksgiving, but I mean generally he calls a spade a spade, and, and that's no big deal. Now, what's interesting is that all right? So why are two NFC teams playing on CBS? Because generally, what happens when there's interconference games is that the network follows the traveling team. Hence, why Vikings Bills was at Fox because Fox is with the NFC traveling team. Vikings and Bills were a Fox game. Or if the AFC uh, AFC team goes to an NFC uh, uh, team, and then all of a sudden it's going to be on CBS. Generally, generally. But why this happened? It's because of the flex. All right. So uh, Sunday Night Football. Was was penciled in for week 11 as Bengal Steelers. Nah, not, not so much. So they flexed out a Chiefs Chargers, and they sent that to uh, Sunday Night Football NBC. Now, generally, there's a little bit of horse trading that goes on w with some of these games. So all of a sudden, CBS is like, ah, give us Vikings. Uh, give us Vikings and the Cowboys. Of course, that's going to be a big-time seller and big-time ratings for them. And uh, that's why the Vikings are getting the number one team. Because Chiefs Chargers probably would have been the premier CBS game for them. AFC, uh, they probably would have sent uh, Nance and Romo there. But now the Vikings get, hello, friends. And uh, here comes the draw. It's going to be pretty good. And I, I know a lot of Vikings fans... <sighs> Like, we're almost suffering from success. This is full-on DJ Khaled where it's like, oh, uh, the Vikings never do well in primetime. Kirk Cousins in a noon game should be a Hall of Famer, all that stuff. But, I mean, this is the first step. Kirk Cousins is 500 on Sunday Night Football, by the way. It's Monday Night Football where he's had issues, but also he's 2-3 uh, uh, in his last three Monday Night games, but whatever whatever man uh, but this is the first step i mean you're uh, whether it's a fox's america's game of the week whether it's a premium slot in the late afternoon on cbs these are big time games and big time players and big time teams make big time plays in big time games a lot of big time ooh big time baby and hey I mean, it's nice hiding uh, from the media. It's nice nice hiding playing noon games on Sunday all the time. But if the Vikings want to take that next step and go, move from being a good team to one of the elite teams in the National Football League, they got to get used to this. They got to get used to pl uh, playing in the premium late afternoon slot. They got to get used to playing on Monday Night Football, Sunday Night Football, etc. Because, I mean, some of the Vikings games towards the end of the season could get flexed. You know, from their, their nice cozy noon spot, uh, and then all of a sudden you're on Sunday Night Football. Woo! That's right, man. So the Vikings, uh, they can't be scared. Uh, they, they absolutely cannot be scared. And Vikings fans, like, you shouldn't be scared either. Like, it, it should be a badge of honors. Like, hey, uh, the national media and the national TV audiences get to see our team, and then they get to show up and show out. This team is different. This team is absolutely different. And this is just what happens, man. Because, I mean, Super Bowl, you can't make the Super Bowl just by playing noon games on Sunday. You just can't, man. You just can't. But pretty excited. I love Nance. Love me some Romo. And it's just uh, another sign that the Vikings are moving on up to the east side. Finally got ourselves a piece of the pie. But your thoughts are thoughts. Vikings Cowboys getting the Nance and Romo treatment on Sunday. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.